angry guy here. And today we're discussing why Western women have lost everything but don't realize it. Today we're discussing why Western women have lost everything but don't realize it. I want to show you guys something. I don't know if I'm going to watch a video with you, but I want to show you something that's really happening. And it's only one, one, of, one of these things, right? So there's a video from Anthony, uh, Anthony Bryan, Anthony Bryan Logan. He is a conservative black content creator on YouTube, has a, almost a million followers and a million subscribers. And he posted a video today saying that most young men are single but young women are not. Now, the, what's interesting about this video is that he reveals that, well, you know what, let's, let's go ahead and jump back a bit. Let's go ahead and jump back a bit. Maybe I'll play some of the video because I want you guys to hear this. This is absolutely insane. Prepare to get offended. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about this very interesting article that I've come across that says 34% of young women are single compared to 63% of young men. All right. So 34% of young women are single compared to 63% of young men. So they're talking about men and women in their 20s. I mean, I wanted to get that statistic for you. So for all men, and, so for men and women in their 20s, 34% of women are single, 63, 30, 34% of women are single, 63% of men are single. This is an insane number at first when you hear it, but then you realize that most women today are targeting, are going for the top 1% of the top 10% of men. The top, yeah, guys, the top 1% of the top 10% of men, okay? They're not interested in 90% of other men. All right, they're interested in that top 10%, and from that top 10%, they're looking at the top 1%, which is absolutely insane. The standards that these women have are basically that the men have to be at least six feet tall or taller. The man must make what more than she does, and usually that's and typically not, and that, that's not and that's not even that's. And when we say more than she does, that's super, if she's a high income earner and she's making over, you know, two hundred or three hundred thousand dollars a year. Let's say she's a doctor. She needs to that he needs to make more than that. But for typically for most women, a guy needs to pull in more than three. He has to pull in, uh, you know, three figures or above. So I mean, sorry, six figures are above three. Yeah, we wish six figures are above. So over one hundred thousand dollars a year. And there's a lot of women who you can't. You cannot hold down an American woman with a hundred thousand dollars a year. When you pay, what do you? Some places where you're spending thirty six thousand or even forty thousand dollars in rent a year. If you know, if your gross income is a hundred thousand dollars a year, but you're you're that's not your net. Your net's somewhere like somewhere between like seventy and eighty thousand dollars, more or less, right? Depending on what you do and how you pay your taxes. And when you take you know and and consider business expenses, so. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. You can't hold a woman down with that kind of money. You just can't. And if your guy making fifty thousand dollars a year, oh forget about it. She doesn't even want to look at you. She's calling you a she's calling you a broke boy. She's calling you a broke boy. All right. Doesn't matter if you have your own home. You know if you have a plate. You have a part an apartment. Doesn't matter if you drive if you own your own own your car. Doesn't matter if you have money in the bank. You've got twenty thirty thousand dollars in the bank. Nope. You're a broke boy. You know. Fifty thousand dollars a year. You've got tens of thousands of dollars in the bank. You own your own car. You have your own place. You're solid. You have a solid job. Nope, you're a broke boy. <laughs> you're a broke boy. All right. I mean, like this is the modern day world. And then when you talk about what a woman has to offer today, women don't want to take care of men. They'll let you know, I'm not your mother. And it's interesting because, like, a guy could turn to a woman and say, "Well, I'm not your father." Because you know what does what does a woman's father do for her before she enter, leaves before she comes into the world? Her father, he provides for her financially. He's her protector. So if anything happens, he's there to protect her. He's there to you know ward off any men or anyone that's a danger to her, anyone that's a threat to her. So he's her provider. 
and he's her protector. And he is also there for emotional support, showing her that he loves her and he cares about her. Okay? So he does all of these things for her. And when a woman leaves a man, she wants him to provide for her, to protect her, and to give her emotional support, just the way her father did. But then the same woman turns around and says, I'm not your mother. Don't expect me to clean for you. Don't expect me to cook for you. Don't expect me to take care of you when you're sick. Because that's, a, you know, they like to call it now the man flu. All right. Oh, you have the man flu. Okay. And, you know, and don't, and when it comes to intimacy, understand that sex is not a right. Sex is a reward. Okay. And don't expect it all the time, even if you're married. Okay. This is this is the way that relation modern day relationships are, and then if you're even in a relationship with a woman who does cook and clean, and you know and does talk to her husband, she calls it emotional labor, she calls it domestic labor. They, she says that she should be getting paid for it. She doesn't like doing it. She's miserable doing it. It's a you know it's it's described almost as a form of slavery. Women should be paid for emotional labor, for taking care of their husbands and their children, for relating to them. I mean, this is this is the modern day world we now live in. And when you realize that, you know, women are miserable doing these things, it basically sounds like women are miserable in relationships. And, you know, and ultimately, men are going to say, well, you know what, if, if we're making you so miserable, you know, for example, even if you're cooking, you're clean. You know, even if you're an American woman, you're cooking, you're clean. You don't like doing these things. And these are not things that you necessarily even know how to do or do very well. So we can just go overseas to Latin America or to or to somewhere in Asia, the Philippines, especially where women love to cook and they love to feed people. They take pride in cooking. This is something that they like doing. Guys, years ago, I used to love cooking. All right. I used to love cooking. I would hang out with my boys. I tried to cook different recipes. You know, my boy would, you know, my boys would clean, you know, they clean the dish, they do the dishes. I would do the cooking. We'd all sit down, chill out, eat, watch Dragon Ball Super. I'm so serious. You know, watch TV, talk shit. And there's no one, there's no man that calls another man a bitch because he can cook. There's no man, I don't know, any man in this world. That's going to call me a bitch because I can cook, because I can throw down in the kitchen. Get the fuck out of here. How many men are on YouTube right now with channels that are literally dedicated to cooking? All right? You've got to be kidding me. Got to be kidding me. Men make a sport out of it. The top chefs in the entire world are men. The top chefs in the entire world are men. This is this is just this is just, and it's not that women are not capable. Women are extre women are are quite capable. I forgot the name of this very famous old chef. Uh, and they did like an epic rap battle about her, but she was she was like a, she was a well trained chef, and then she had her own cooking show. But she could really throw down, you know. I'm not talking about Rachel Ray. You know, this was like she was like trained in, in Paris, I think. But most modern women, they don't want to do that. They don't want they don't want to be top chefs. You know, they don't want to they don't want to they don't want to cook for their family and for their kids, for their husbands. It's not something they enjoy. They don't like learning recipes. I'm not saying you have to go to culinary school, but do you enjoy cooking? Is it a part of who you are? Do you enjoy watching people eat your food? Do you enjoy serving? Do you enjoy knowing that, you know, wow, like someone's like, "Oh my gosh, this is amazing." You know? Because I enjoy getting feedback. I enjoy people saying, shit, bro, this is insane. You know how to throw down, my, you know how to throw down, bro. All right? And you go to Philippines. Women love, Filipino women, they love that shit. Because you get, you'll get respect for being able to cook. You go into a Filipina's house, and her house is spotless. All right? People will respect, like, wow, did you hire your maid? Nope. I take care of this shit myself. A Filipina is proud of her surroundings. Even if she doesn't have a lot of money, she is proud of how she takes care of her home. She carries herself with pride. The man that she's with, his clothing looks his clothing always looks good. His clothing is always on point. 
man that she's with is always fresh, always looking clean, always smelling good. And other women walk, when other women see them walking together, they say, what? That's her man? Right? Because she wants her man to look good and feel good. All right? She wants her man to look good and feel good. And this is this is the thing. This is the thing. American women, they don't enjoy doing these things. They don't like doing these things. And that's where things are messed up right now. This is why this is why American women, it's like there's really no coming back. There's really, there really is like, you know, why Western Western women have lost everything and they don't realize it. You know, like I'll tell you guys something. Like, I'm like hurting over some things right now. Like I'm, I'm, you know, I joke about chicks and some sometimes, and I like so I say, "Hey, where's your OnlyFans?" But bro, like there was this girl, there was this girl that was in Mr. V's video, and you know she's she's a cute chick, she's cute, she was Brazilian, and she, you know, she had some pictures on Instagram that were a little like I don't know, but she had a good personality and she she tried to do like the social media thing for a while, and someone I literally asked her a while like months ago like. You know, where's your OnlyFans? And she responded like, I don't have an OnlyFans and I will never have an OnlyFans. Fast forward. Mr. Beast video took place in November, I think, of 2022. That was just, that was not long ago. No, what, what, no I'm wrong about that. I'm wrong about that. The squid, that was the time really fast. Though the squid, that was, it was, it's been actually over a year. It, it took place in November of 2021. And... So it's been it's been it's been a bit out around one year four months okay so it's been a little while but you know you go back a year almost a year and a half ago and she's like you know someone's like you know where's your uh, you know where's your OnlyFans and she's like I don't have OnlyFans and I will never have an OnlyFans and she said that in a video and fast forward like almost a year and a half later and you go to her Insta. You click on her link tree, and she has all these different links to her other social media platforms. And of course, she now has an OnlyFans. And her OnlyFans, of course, has very sensitive content there. And I'm like, wow. And there's another, ch and it's like, it's not just her. Like, I, some, some guys are going to say, well, you know, I mean, what do you think? She had certain kind of pictures on her profile. It was only inevitable. But I was, like, rooting for her. Like, you know, that, you know, I joked about it. Like, come on, where's your OnlyFans? But, you know, I didn't really, I was, like, hoping that she would not become an OnlyFans thought. And now she's posting news on OnlyFans from what I can, like, I mean, they're expli it's explicit. It's explicit. I haven't subscribed to. I have never, ever paid for a girl's OnlyFans. I'll tell you that right off the bat. I have never, ever paid for a girl's OnlyFans. I've never done it. And I don't know what's on there, but it's it's sense she calls it sensitive, it's explicit content. All right. So I mean, you know, it's 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 at least lewds or nudes. And I'm like, I'm just like, wow. And there's also like another channel on YouTube named Miss Click Gaming. And I, I follow Miss Click Gaming sometimes. And you know, she's she's a part of like the spawn cast. They do this uh a star they do this like stream every Saturday. I follow it's another channel here on YouTube. Some of you guys know Spawn Wave. And there's a Spawn Cast that happens on Saturday and other and you know uh John from Spawn Cast from Spawn Wave is there hosting it. RGT eighty five is on there. And so uh, some other channels, you know, I, I forget all the names of these people. Dreamcast guy, I, I don't know if that's his name. Like there's a bunch of other YouTuber content creators on there, and there's usually only one girl. And her name is Miss Click Gaming, right? And Miss Click, she suffered a lot in the la over the last year. Like her father passed away, I believe, and their relationship, I don't think it was the greatest. And, you know, she was struggling with a lot of things. And she tried to get a job at G4 before they closed down. That didn't really work out. And there was some other, there was a bunch of things. And, you know, she's, from what I understand, like there's some other family issues. And I think she was trying to move. And, you know, I don't know how, and I don't know how she's paying her bills. Well, I was so like this is just a normal girl. Like you go to her Instagram, you don't you don't find pictures of her in her in bikinis. You don't find this kind of stuff. She's she's not ugly. She's pretty decent. She's good looking, you know, but she's not an insta thought. 
And then what does she do? Like, I don't know when she did it. She creates an OnlyFans. But but it's okay. It's okay. Because it's a safe for work OnlyFans. And it's and where she promotes body positivity. And I'm like, bro, this is so sad. This is so sad. Because like, okay, so like it's like girls are like so drawn to OnlyFans now that even if they're not posting nudes or lewds, they're still trying to make money off OnlyFans posting pictures of themselves. And it's like just the perception of being an OnlyFans girl. Like this mess is this will mess up your life. You know, this will mess up your life. Do you have it like, you know, you go for a job interview. Do you have some interviews like do you have an OnlyFans, you know, or anything similar? And right then and there, like, you know, oh, I, I have an OnlyFans, but it's only safe for work stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, so we'll get back to you. They're never going to get back to them. Yeah, guys, I mean, it's... It, it sets a person up for a bad reputation. And a lot of these young women, like, they're online selling feet pics. There was, like, this guy doing a street interviews, and he, like, stopped this guy and this girl, and he's like, oh, hey, are you guys a couple? And uh, and they're like, yeah. And, you know, they said they asked, he was like, you know, tell me some things that you don't like about each other. And one of the things the girl says is, she says, I don't like that he makes less money than I do. And then it's revealed that she sells feet pics, feet pics. And she's like, you know, she used the feet pics. She used that money to buy herself, like, I don't I don't remember, some expensive shit. And also her boyfriend, like, a, a $2,000 MacBook or some shit like that. And that was nice of her. But she's like, she doesn't like the fact that she makes more money than him. And I'm like, that hurts so bad. Because I don't know what this guy does for a living. But whatever he does, he has to work. He actually has to work for his money. He has to provide a service. He has to do something. Even if you're delivering pizza, even if you're delivering Domino's, you have to physically do something. You actually have to provide a service to, for someone. You actually have to provide value, right? And providing, you know, selling pictures of your body so that some guy can go fat to, selling your feed pics, selling your feed pics, and then thinking that that's real work. Because you're making thousands of dollars off some perf, you know, because some pervert wants to look at your feet, you know. That's and then thinking that's a real job. That's a joke. And that's the world that we live in today. Women, women, modern women, they don't want to work. They don't want to clean. They don't want to cook. They don't want to clean, and they don't want to have real jobs anymore. There was a girl on the Fresh and Fit podcast. Or fr- I don't know if she, I don't know what it was. She was on Fresh and Fit. And this is a girl who was, her father is a Muslim. I don't know if she's actively a Muslim, but her father is a Muslim, okay? Uh, and you can you, know, you can tell that she's like of Middle Eastern descent, I guess. And she, this is where, this is what's terrible. She was boasting to Fresh and Fit. She was boasting to Myron that she sells her, her nudes on, uh, she sells her nudes on OnlyFans. And she's so proud of this. And Myron is like, you're proud that you sell pictures of your butthole on OnlyFans. She's like, I sell my nudes on OnlyFans. And he's like, he's again, like, you're proud that you're selling pictures of your butthole on there. You know, he was trying to make mock her a bit, but it was all in all. She was proud of this. And then, you know, what, what she's so proud of is the fact that she used to be a chemical engineer. To be a chemical engineer, you need a shitload of calculus. I hated calculus. All right, I hated that shit. I took so much math in college for my master. My oh gosh, I anyway, I took a lot of math. I hated calculus. I hated calculus. She took shitloads of calculus, and she worked her way through that degree. And the average salary for a chemical engineer is about ninety-seven thousand dollars a year. That's the average. She left her job as a chemical engineer to go and post pictures of her butthole on OnlyFans. And she's so proud of it. And she's so proud that her father is a Muslim and that he has to deal with the fact that his daughter is posting this type of shit on OnlyFans. She's so proud. And she's a model for young girls now in America. 
This is what girls, young girls are to aspire to be. Look at Cardi B. One of the most popular songs that was out recently was WAP. What does WAP stand for? Wet ass pussy. Okay? And in the song, Cardi says, I can't cook, I can't clean, but I got this wet ass pussy. All right? And she's talking about shit. She's saying shit like gush, gush, gush. Like, what the fuck? Bit like, like, what? You think I'm going to get off on your discharge? Like, this is disgusting. And, and that's really all, all it is. Women think today that, you know, pussy is going to take them, take them everywhere. Men are going to always want them because they have pussy. It doesn't matter how badly they behave. It doesn't matter how little they have to offer. They have the pussy. And the pussy is everything. And it really isn't. Men are going overseas to all these other countries. And women women all over the world are, are trying to take these men. Because let me tell you something. You go to other countries and women are looking for men who have a solid education. Looking for men who have skills. Looking for men who are, who are running out in the streets. In America, Tyrone and Chad are like, you know, they're the shit. In other countries, women don't want Tyrone and Chad. Why the fuck would you want Tyrone in your neighborhood? Are you out of your motherfucking mind? What woman in her right mind would want a fucking Tyrone? All right? Oh, my gosh. What woman in her right fucking mind would want a Tyrone? This is this is the same motherfucker that destroyed, helped to destroy the black community. And these are the kinds of men that women are chasing after. No woman in her right mind should want a man like this. But that's what makes women in America hot and bothered. But you go to other countries, they don't want these type of men in, the, in their neighborhood. These men are being thrown in jail. All right? And chasing after a Chad? You mean the guy that every girl is trying to fuck? Why would you want to go after that guy? He's never going to be serious about you. He's not going to settle down with you. He's not going to provide for you. All right? He's a terrible choice. He doesn't even give a shit about you. Oh, but he can fuck really good. Is that all you're thinking about? The only thing you're thinking about is cock? And then when all is said and done, you go out and you try to look for a stable man. Right? Who has to have all these qualities. But don't get me wrong, you still want Chatter Tyrone. I was watching this video, and there's this guy. There was this guy who was from America. He had brought his, he had met his wife in the Philippines, brought her to America, and they decided to move back to the Philippines. And he was like 5'9, five, 5'10. Five, the guy was where he got worked out. He was ripped. Just keep in mind, this this passport bro thing, it's not it's not a black thing. It's a it's a it's a man thing. All right. Men of all colors, all, all races, like from the West, are like saying, yeah, we're we're done with this shit. This was a white guy. This guy was ripped. He was huge. You can look at his arms. He worked out. He had big arms. He was super fit. And he said it. He said he's like 5'9", five, 5'10", five, and women in the United States don't look at him. They're out here trying to act like he's a short, like a short king. Like, what? 5'10 is short? Are y'all out of your damn minds? 5'9", five, 5'10 five, is short? Oh, my gosh. And here's something interesting. The average height in the Philippines is 5'4". So when an American guy goes over there who's like 5'8", 5'9", 5'10", they're tall. They, they tower over both the men and women in the Philippines. So you have a lot of women who are just 5'2", or 5 foot. So next to, next to this guy, he's towering over them, and the women love that. All right? You go over there, you're like... I have a job. I want to take care of you. I want to give you I want to give you a place to live. I'll buy you clothes. I'll buy food. You'll cook the food. You'll cook the you'll you'll clean the place. We'll go places together. I'll be there for you. I won't be out in the streets. And women are like, "Oh my gosh, where have you been my entire life?" It's a very religious country. Don't get me wrong. You know, there's no such thing as divorce in that country. If you want to get out of your marriage, the marriage has to be annulled. You have to go through the Catholic Church to have your marriage annulled. I'm not saying that 
it's everything is perfect because you have to be careful. There are always going to be people that try to take advantage of you. But the truth of the matter is, is that men are just women basically act that most like most men are pests for them in America right now. Like women are like, oh, you're a pest, you're a pest, I don't want you. The truth is that men are, you know, a lot of women are attacking men who are going overseas and they're saying that these men are abusive. These men are going for these women who can't read and can't write. They're uneducated. They, uh, they, they're poor. You know, they, they can't speak English, which is so sad. 92% of the Philippines speak English. All right. A lot of, uh, in Thailand, a lot of the women in, in Thailand, a lot of the population speaks English in Thailand. I mean, in a lot of these countries, the women speak English. In fact, in Philippines, they speak multiple languages. And English is one of the has always been one of the official languages of the Philippines. I mean, this is absolutely insane. And like a lot of these Philippine Filipinas have been clapping back, not just from the Philippines, the Philippines that live in the United States, because the women have been criticizing them, calling them uneducated, calling them poor, saying that they're that they're that they're being used by these men, that they're that they don't know what they're they can't speak English, so they don't know what's going on. I mean, like it's really it's gotten really bad, and these Filipinas have been clapping back at them and like. And not just the Filipinas, Asian women in general have been clapping back at them and just like you know, you know, putting them on notice. And and not just Asian women in Asia, Asian women living in the United States that were born here, born in America, raised in America, and they're letting these women know, like in America, like you need to step off. You know, saying that you know we are on that 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 our people are uneducated. You know, this is one girl. She was like, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. And the chick was gorgeous, but and she was an American, she had an American accent, and it's like it's it's gotten to that point where Amer where where the truth is like these women still need these stable men because these are the Plan B guys. The men that they say they don't want are the Plan B guys. When Chad and Tyrone don't work out, they need a stable guy to uh, help them get their money up, you know, help them get back on their feet because they've been running wild for like. The last 20 years, they've burnt you now. They're old and tired, and they still want Chad, they still want Tyrone, but they're valued. But you know, Chad and Tyrone aren't calling the way, aren't looking at them the way they used to. So, what do they need to do? They need to get now, they don't have anything. You know, the career didn't work out, all that shit's you know, all that shit's fucked up. So, now they need a stable man to hold them down. So, they want to go and find a stable man, the same guys they were rejecting all along. And get pregnant by this guy so they can extract child support and alimony and then use him to get you know to, to be their uh to be their come up that's what they call them, to be a come up <laughs> and a lot of men are now like no 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 not gonna happen not gonna happen you know what western women they don't get it they don't realize that they've lost everything already. They've lost their dignity. They've lost their self-respect. They've lost their they've lost their men. Okay, they've lost the opportunity to, to, to start families, and they don't realize it because they're playing games right now. Thirty-four percent of women are single. Sixty-three percent of men are single. What that also means is that that thirty-four percent from that thirty per thirty-four percent, a lot of those a lot of those women are dating the exact same men. All right. A lot of those women from that 34%, well, let me correct myself, correct myself. A lot of those women who are not a part of the 34%, a lot of the women who are dating men currently are dating the exact same men. All right? They're dating the exact same men. I want you all to think about it. Because 63% of men are single, are single right? 63% of men are single, so that means that only around 37% of men are actually in relationships. I hope I got that right. All right. And then and then if you go a step now, if you look at it, if you look at it this way, all right. And then and then on the on the other hand, on the other hand, when you uh when you look at it, sixty six percent of women are in relationships. All right. So what that's telling us is that a lot of these women are dating the same men. They're dating the same men and they're sleeping with the same men. And they can't all marry the same guy. A lot of these guys don't want to marry them. So what are they going to do? They're going to go looking for a stable man to be their come up when everything falls apart. 
And these guys are going to be gone by then. They're gonna be, they're gonna be long gone. Let me know what you guys think. If Western women have lost everything but don't realize it, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to A W to, to uh, M W A, which is men walking away. Or and cheers.